Right, today we're going to look at a tool called Prepros. Um, this is really helpful in uh, front-end development uh, and a few of our team members use it to uh, compile uh, SAS and LESS files and CSS and JavaScript. Um, and it's got some really useful features that uh, we're going to quickly just chat through. Uh, but you can pick it up from this uh, site, prepros.io, um, and I believe it's available for you yeah, uh, Mac, Windows, and Linux. So it's really easy to uh, get hold of. Um, it is free uh, to use, but there is some inter um, some interruptions now and again when it kind of prompts you to support the developers. So um, if you want to give it a go, I really recommend giving it a go before buying, but uh, we found it very useful, uh, especially in our workflow. Um, so once you've got a copy of that, um, I've actually got it installed already. So it kind of uh, has this kind of interface here. Uh, normally you would have all these projects um, blank and it will ask you to add your first project in, but I've just uh, set up a couple um, and, but I'll, I'll kind of show how to add the project in uh, now. So if we just drag over our first project, uh, now this can be any folder with your website files in uh, and what it will do is it will watch all the contents of this folder uh, for any changes um, and you can set what those file extensions are that it watches but um, essentially uh, you want to just drag everything relevant to what you're going to be compiling um, or, or and, and sorts into into prepro so you just drag it in um, and it just takes the name of the folder uh, by default but you can you can rename that in the project settings so you can name that whatever you want um, and now when you've dragged actually the folder in, um, it creates a file called prepros.config. Um, this just contains all the configuration uh, for the actual project within prepros. Uh, it is helpful if you do share the project with someone else, share the folder with someone else. If they've got prepros, they, if they drag their folder into their uh, prepros, they uh, should hopefully get all the config that comes with it. So it's great for kind of backing that up and also sharing. Um, so some of the settings that you're going to see um, is obviously in uh, we get the general settings, the name. Uh, there's also settings for uploading um, and the live preview, and there's also more advanced settings for for the different compiling uh, options, uh, which which were listed down there. I'm going to just quickly look at a couple of the features, including live preview. Uh, normally, you won't have to change any of this uh, if you've um, if you just got a, a normal local setup uh, for live preview. So um, I've actually got just a really small demo here uh, with just one file called in index.php. Um, and um, I've got like a little local host uh, set up just targeting that. Um, and if I view uh, the that file in an editor, um, live preview should hopefully on save show me uh, in real time, yep, uh, the change that's just in Chrome. And that's really helpful just for making, uh, you know, really quick changes in, in, in HTML and um, just structure and layout and just seeing that previewed re uh, just in real time. So that's a really cool feature. So that's, that's live preview. Um, another feature that we use, use uh, a lot is the automatic uploading. Um, so uh, the project I've just dragged in, the Sculpt uh, project, is actually linked to our theme on our uh our Sculpt website, um, and on uh, using uh, this theme is actually built predominantly on SAS uh, for our styles. So, um, if we were to make a change in one of our SAS files, um, what we'd like to do is, if we're just making a quick change to the remote, um, is to open up Prepros and uh, make a change, and then uh, see that change uploaded automatically, and then obviously see it live on the site. So what we'd have to do is um, if, you, if you're looking to, to do that kind of quick upload uh, to a remote server, you would have to set the uh, project settings uh, and then you'd go to upload. And with the power of editing, uh, I've just pre-filled all this FTP information in. Uh, the things I wanna note uh, additional to the, just the standard settings is a remote path. Um, so you'll see um, I've just put a path in a, of our theme folder on our current site. Uh, our sculpt site and uh, this will just need to relate to the folder that you dragged in uh, initially to start the project so uh, this uh, blueprint uh, folder should match the sculpt digital folder that I um, uh, dragged in so that those should be identical in in terms of their relative base path uh, and the other option that you can tick or leave unticked um, I'm going to tick it um, is the upload automatically and this is just simply the save 
once you, when you save the uh, a change, it will automatically upload that file. Um, and if you want to just double check which uh, files Prepros is watching, um, if you go to File Watcher, um, you can see the different uh, file extensions that are specifically uh, set for Prepros to always watch. There are some ones um, in the uh, the app settings that are, are kind of global, but you can do uh, project specific ones, which is which is quite a good feature. So I'm just going to leave that as it is. Um, I'm going to just make a change to my my style.sas file, um, or scss file. Um, as the extension is um, and you'll see actually on this project the little file watcher icon is active so that just shows that uh, prepros is currently watching this folder um, so uh, i'm going to go ahead and just enter just a style change so demonstrate that automatic uh, upload so i'm just going to change the title on our blog page to black hopefully so i'm just going to save that and actually, Prepros comes up with a notification there saying uh, successfully processed. And another one quickly popped up, said uploaded, but I think that just got dismissed. Um, you can always check the logs as well if you're not sure, if you just missed a notification that comes up. And that just tells you uh, what exactly Prepros is, is doing in terms of processing and uploading. So you can see uh, my SAS was processed um, to the star.css file, and then it was uploaded. Um, to the uh, to the path set. So hopefully, if we just go back to our site and we do a hard refresh on this page, uh, yeah, we'll see that the title on our blog page uh, has been changed. So that is just a really lightning quick way to make a quick change on on a live site, um, on a remote site, and um, in, it's not always the it's not always relevant if you're doing a big long project and you're working uh, locally. You wouldn't, wouldn't need to always make changes on a remote server, but it is really good to make just a quick fix, uh, a quick change live without having to load up, uh, you know, FileZilla and drag your file over and upload it. And and then, yeah, so this just really streamlines everything. So it's as simple as, you know, uh, loading up pre-pros and then just turning on file watching and then just making the change. And then, you know, if I deleted that, save, processed, and then that's changed on, on that site. So it's, it's a real powerful tool um, that you can use in your workflow. Uh, we, we like to use it sometimes um, in ours. And um, if you'd like to um, hear any more in-depth features on Prepros, then uh, please just let, let us know. Uh, but yeah, that will be it for today. Uh, thanks for listening, and uh, we'll catch you in the next one.